Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mandira and I'm here with the most awaited video. <sighs> okay, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but unfortunately, I lost my phone in Paris. Actually, someone stole it and my dream vacation turned into a nightmare in a minute yeah so that was the reason i wasn't able to film this video i recently got my new phone so i'm filming this video with my new phone yeah so finally here i am with all your queries so now without further ado let's get into the video okay in today's video i'm going to tell you about how to apply for a schengen for a schengen visa in israel if you are a foreign worker working and living in israel and want to travel to italy and other Schengen countries, you may need a visa, a short stay or a tourist visa. As most of you already know, we recently took a trip to Europe. We traveled around uh, Italy, Greece, France and Croatia. In case you don't know, Croatia is a non-Schengen area. That means you need to apply separately for a Croatian visa. However, if you have a valid multiple entries Schengen visa, you don't need a visa to enter Croatia. Okay, let's talk about what I'm here for. Italy visa. Why an Italian visa? As our first port of entry was Italy and also we were spending most of our time in there as compared to other countries, we had to apply for an Italian visa. You can either apply for your visa at the embassy of your first port of entry or in the embassy of the country where you'll be spending your maximum time. In our case, it was the same country, Italy. Number two, application steps. When to apply for an Italian visa? The first and most important step for applying your Italian visa is booking an appointment at the embassy of Italy. The earliest appointment you can apply for your Italian visa here in Israel is two months before your intended travel date. Considering the current traveling trends, I would suggest you to book an appointment first before you booking your flight, uh, flight tickets and hotel reservations. This way you won't have to worry in case you don't get the booking slot as you preferred. Now, how to apply for an appointment? Okay, so go to the website down below. I have mentioned in the description box and to register your account. Once you log in, this page will open. In case it's an Italian language, you can change the language at the top of the page. Now click book and then select your visa type, which is second one visa type C for short stay or tourism and again click book. Now on the second page you can choose your type of booking which is individual or multiple. If it's only for you, you can choose individual booking. Then purpose of visit which is tourism and then attach your passport copy and then accept terms and click forward. In the next page, you will find a calendar where you can choose your date and time. Choose the date and time for the appointment and book. After that, you will receive an email confirming your date and time for your appointment. I've mentioned the link below in the description box for you to book your appointment at the Embassy of Italy for a visa application. After your appointment is confirmed, you can start booking your flight and hotels and prepare all the documents required until your appointment day. So now let's talk about the documents we submitted. Number one is entry visa application form. You must carry your completed signed application visa for each person. You can fill it online and then print. Please fill the application form after only you meet all the required bookings as you will need your booking details to be mentioned in the application form. Also, you can find this application form link in the description box. And if you guys want to know how and what details to fill in application form, then please leave a comment. I can make a separate video for filling an application video. Okay, now number two is two recent passport size photographs. Number three, passport. Expiry date of passport must be three months longer than that of the visa requested. Take your passport with you, not the copy. And flight tickets, boat departure and arrival. Bank statement, last six months with at least 6,000 shekels balance. Number six, employment contract. You can ask your agency for that. And number seven, travel insurance. A minimum of 30,000 of emergency hospitalization and the repatriation expenses valid through the Schengen area. Number eight, proof of accommodation. All your bookings for your hotel or hostel, wherever you are staying, you have to submit the booking details 
for the proof of accommodation okay we also submitted our cruise booking confirmation as our travel included eight days of cruising now number four how much is the visa fee it's 80 euro but you have to pay in shekels as per the ongoing rate we paid 285 for each individual so you have to take shekels with you not euro now how long will be the process time at the end of the interview they will give you the receipt along with the date and time for your next visit to collect your passport it is usually five to five seven working days however it may take up to 14 days in normal circumstances in case of national holidays or other cases it can take up to 30 to 40 days in case you need to submit additional documents as asked apart from the documents mentioned in the website so this is it for this video if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and i hope uh, it will be helpful for you guys and uh, yeah if you have anything any queries any any question then please feel free to ask I will try my best to answer each and every question of yours. Um, so yeah, this is it. And if you are traveling soon, then happy journey. And I hope to see you in my next video. So yeah, bye.